Hi, this is Stefan Mischuk with KillerPHP.com and in this video tutorial we're actually going to build our first objects and PHP classes. I assume at this point that you've done the previous videos and you understand the basic concepts, the basic theories with regards to classes and objects in PHP. And of course, I assume that you've done at least some basic PHP so you understand what variables and functions are and you know how to run PHP scripts. If any of these things are hazy for you, then I would strongly suggest that you go to killerphp.com and watch the videos. For this video, I'm going to use Dreamweaver 7 to write the PHP code not because it's uh, the best PHP editor out there. It's uh, simply because I, most web designers, last time I heard, about 80% of professional web designers use Dreamweaver. So I figured it's a an environment, rather, that people are familiar with. So I'll use it. When you get more serious with your PHP work, you may want to look at other text editors that may have more capability than Dreamweaver. Actually, I'm pretty sure about that. Although I am using an older version of Dreamweaver, so I can't comment about what Adobe did with their latest version at this time. This is the CS3 version of Dreamweaver, so it could be a lot better. Anyhow, let's pop open Dreamweaver. What I've done to help move things along more quickly is I created the first two basic PHP files here that uh, we're going to use for this particular little project. Essentially, I have a class underscore live.php files. And in this particular file is going to contain all of our PHP object or a class code. In case you missed that part in the video, classes are the blueprint for objects in PHP blueprints or templates or whatnot. So when I'm talking about writing class code, I'm talking about writing the code that creates the classes uh, and thus the objects in PHP. And of course, index.php is just a standard PHP page, the page that the uh, person visiting the site will actually see. So I'm going to introduce you to something actually I haven't mentioned in the written tutorial. In web application development, whether it be PHP or Ruby or Java or whatnot, there's a distinction between code libraries, in this case would be class lib, class underscore lib, which lib being short for library, versus view pages. So you got code pages, uh, excuse view pages versus library pages. So what I mean by view pages, when you're talking about view pages, or nerds that simply refer to them as being views, those are the pages that people actually see. So it gets a little bit more involved than that, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention because oftentimes I'll mention, okay, let's open up our view. And what I'm talking about, I'm talking about in this project, the index page, because this is the actual page that people see whereas the class lib uh, PHP page is they won't actually see that page. They won't actually load that page. So if all the class information is contained inside a class lib.php, how do you get that into the index page? You do that simply by using a PHP include. So what I've done here for the sake of the tutorial, I've included it already. So this will basically insert all the code that we're going to write in our class lib file into this PHP page. So let's actually go back and let's pop open the class lib.php file now. Before we actually write the code, I just want to stress one point. The reason why we have the class lib file and the index file is because we want to, of course, put our, all of our PHP class code inside of the class lib file. And the reason we want to do that is because, well, object-oriented code is all about modularity. 
So we could actually write our classes inside the index page, inside of our view, for the sake of demo. But I figure, at least on this basic level here, I figure we should just you know emphasize the point that we want to separate your view from your your logic. The logic be inside the classes, and the view is just the page that displays what people see, of course. So that's why we've created two separate files. So I'm just going to actually make my life easier and use the uh, Dreamweaver PHP thing of a bobs here. And there we go. I've in inserted some uh, a PHP block. So let me just hide all the extra Chrome. I apologize. Things are a little slow when I'm doing videos. I guess my computer's a little old here. And uh, so things kind of slow down. So, okay, so let's first create a class. Much like a function, oop, I should give it a name. So I'll call the class a person. So this is pretty much all you need to do is create a class in PHP. Of course, there's nothing in this class, but at least we've created a class. So let's actually add some variables. We start with the keyword var and name, and we'll just close that off there. So this is a basic class. These are the delimiters of the class, if you will, much like a function. We've created a variable. We use the var keyword, and we haven't given the variable any value, although we could just, just as easily do so as we would any standard PHP variable. So that's it. So we create our class, but it doesn't really do anything. So the next step is to actually add a function. So the first function I'm going to make, function get name. And again, like any other function, we have our curly brackets from the dentist for the sake of clarity. And what we're going to do, we're going to say this function will return. And I'm going to explain what this is in two seconds. All right, so we created our class, we declared a variable, and we actually gave it a value. You notice the variables inside contained within the class delimiters. So we know that this variable is part of this class. Anyhow, function get name and we tell it to return this.name. So this is the part that has to be explained. This, like so, is a special self-referencing variable built into object-oriented PHP. Actually, this is uh, common in just about every object-oriented language I've ever seen. Essentially, it basically tells the PHP interpreter, the engine, to when you see, when it sees this, it knows that you're referencing, you're talking about the actual object itself. So when you say return this name, this operator, this is the operator here, this basically is a pointer. It says grab this name variable, meaning this variable here, or let me rephrase that. What it's saying is grab the variable name and return its value. And uh, there you go. So it's as simple as that. So let's, well, we saved this already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually evoke this particular fu function, get name, inside of our PHP view page, which is the index page. 